All right, guys, so for today's video, we're going to actually discuss how to cut through the noise and become your market's obvious option. And this is going to be by doing all of your niches market research with AI and ChatGPT to handle the heavy lifting in under 20 minutes. And we're also going to be spicing it a little bit with what I call dark leverage, okay? And listen, guys, like literally this is something that I've been starting to test around so that I can actually help my clients whenever they start to launch a new offer, whenever it comes to actually refining or revamping their current business model, any of their products, or when it comes to actually creating angles so that they can actually sell their stuff in an easier fashion and this is not only saving us a lot of time but it's more important allowing us to immediately know what are the angles and what is literally the things that we got to focus on if we want to actually start booking more calls and closing more deals most of my clients are agency owners or coaches consultants but this applies for any sort of business like if you're running a SaaS or you're running some sort of um, local type of service this is going to be phenomenal insightful okay what you're going to see guys is first of all like the way in which we go about actually doing the, the market research process I'm actually going to rebuild the prompts that we're using that are allowing us to do all of this process in a nutshell and I'm also going to be adding some bonuses on how we end up with custom content ideas, objections that we can actually tackle in our content, and even lead magnets that we can start to use so that we can get leads on demand for whatever niche we're targeting, okay? So before we continue, um, this document you can get, of course, absolutely for free by joining my free Facebook group. You're going to find a link in the description where you're going to see like how to join and it's absolutely for free. And the second thing, guys, is that I want you guys to watch this video to X speed. Generally speaking, as you could probably guess already, my videos are not super edited and I just really like to go straight to the neck and give the value that I need to give. So do yourself a favor and just watch this video twice as fast so that you can basically consume the stuff and then take action. Okay. So most people think that doing market research is just a time wasting process to see the average price point of the market and then charge a little bit lower to stay competitive and that's actually the worst way in which you can create an offer even worse most people who actually do go through a market research process inside of a coaching program do all of the work simply to end up writing an i help statement okay so most people what they end up doing is that they write they do market research for one or two weeks and then they just say like oh the biggest problem of my niche is booking calls so my i help statement in instagram is going to be hey i help coaches book more calls of course that's absolutely stupid and i'm going to show you the right way in which we can go around this most people are never able to you know, even first of all, monetize their offer, number one, and let alone actually cut through the noise and avoid market saturation. And again, this is something that through ChatGPT, we're saving ourselves two to four weeks worth of work by simply doing all of our niches market research, okay? In the past, this used to be like a super long one-on-one -on -one consulting session so that I can give some guidance, watching a whole bunch of models, watching a whole bunch of, bunch of stuff. And that's what we, my goal with this video is to fulfill on the headline, number one, but also walk you through the exact process that I like to go through to gather information on my market's pain points and ultimately create offers that slap from day one. So I want to start off with what most people do wrong whenever they do any sort of AI research or when it's any sort of market research. And it is that when starting a business or launching an offer, most people do the following. They first of all start by figuring out what to sell. For example, Facebook ads for e-commerce brands or weight loss for moms. Then they figure out how they can sell it and what funnel to use. For example, they say, hey, uh, I will use an Instagram auto-converting funnel, I will use Facebook groups, or I will use YouTube organic. And at the end, the third step is they figure out who they could can buy their stuff, aka the niche. That's literally the complete opposite of what should be done. Here's how a healthy offer or a healthy business is born. Literally, guys, whatever you're doing, do the opposite. So you want to start off by actually selecting a niche, which you can then research about the problems that they have so that you can have a complete list of things that they are going to be willing to pay for. Okay, once you're done with that, then you're going to create a sales messaging that is going to basically seduce your niche into understanding how XXX feature or XXX product that you're selling can fulfill on solving those problems. Then, once you get the attention of your niche by building the sales messaging, you are going to build offer alignment, aka the offer needs to actually be relevant in regards to the sales messaging that generated the meeting in the first place. And at the end, you're going to write the FSL, the foundational sales letter, so that people get nurtured and they convert into your offer. Make sense? And now understanding this, ChatGPT and AI will enter the game. So here's the thing, guys. I want to now show you the prompts that we're using. And what I like to do at any given time is probe the prompts as if I was on a sales call, okay? So what, what that means is that whenever something's not clear or whenever something's superficial, I want to dive deeper. You know, like when you're on a sales call and the person says like, hey man, like I'm just not booking many calls an average salesman would be like okay cool and how many calls are you booking you see like super random what you want to do instead you want to you want to dive deeper you want to actually say like okay so you're not booking that many calls like wh why do you think that is or how what are you doing right now to generate appointments in the first place you want to essentially dive deeper and actually probe same thing you want to do when you're writing prompts on chat gpt okay so the first thing that i want to ask at any given time is and by the way, there's an example that you can go in and uh, grab so that you can see how this works. But let me go first of all with the prompts. Start with the prompts. So the first prompt is always going to be, 
What is the single most painful and urgent to solve problem niche, whatever your niche is, have? Or what is the single most painful and urgent, problem, urgent to solve problem niche has when it comes to a specific type of angle that you know that is related to what you're looking to sell? Okay, so for example, I literally asked Judge ChatGPT, what is the single most painful and urgent to solve problem high ticket fitness coaches have? And then I have a list of problems, right? So client acquisition, client retention, competition, time management. So essentially, you see, there is a list of problems, but I don't, have, I don't want to solve all of the problems. I want to solve the most painful problem that I can solve for them. So what I do is that I probe. Now I can say, okay, tell me more about this. Like focus more on the competition type of problems because maybe that's what I want, you know, like have more of a background on so that I can solve. So I get now a list of problems that, I, that are more relevant to this. Do um, you see? Where is it? Competition, right? So the second problem is always, okay, why is, insert problem here, the main problem outside of all of the other possible ones? You see? Because now you start to understand the rationale behind it and then the actual desires that this group of people have. So in my case, I say, okay, is client loyalty or market saturation more painful for coaches who are well-established? Because maybe you want to go not only to all fitness coaches, but more established coaches. Then, um, since this is the list of problems that I have in here, I, I ask um, chat GPT, why client loyalty or market saturation? And then I say, okay, please choose one only and explain why, what I was saying before. So I, they say market saturation. So I have a list of reasons why market saturation is more painful than client loyalty. So I now know that this is the, if, I can, if I can solve market saturation for high ticket fitness coaches who are um, well positioned or that are more well established, what is going to happen is that then I'm going to be able to target right into the neck, okay? So literally that's the first part. So look at what happens next. The third prompt is, list me at least 50 mini problems that would need to be solved for these people to solve that main problem, okay? And then look at what happens. Okay, so why is market saturation the most painful problem for high-ticket fitness coaches instead of all the other positive ones? Similar to what I had to say, I have more ideas, more angles that I can test. And then I say, okay, perfect. Please list me at least 50 mini problems or steps that would need to be solved for these people to solve that main problem. So guess what? I literally have all the list of problems and what they mean in the language of my niche in this case. And this is where things start to get super, 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 super powerful, guys, because now based on that list of problems, you can create offer pillars, like actual, you know, grouping all of those problems in different steps or milestones inside of your coaching program, inside of your marketing agency service, in your sales pitch, and all of those things that basically cover and explaining why those are the problems you're going to solve. And then, Based on those offer pillars, record micro VSLs for these pillars or BSLs or some sort of content assets that are going to solve the different, you know, uh, offer pillars that you created based on this list of problems. And the best thing is that you can also add ChatGPT to expand on any of this, okay? So these offer pillars, like I was saying, are just are you going to be able to use them for the sales messaging that will generate the meetings, number one. And number two, for the offer alignment that will make leads buy in the first place whenever you have the meetings, you see? Super, super powerful. And I want to now give you some bonuses because you can go even a step further. Now, now, based on this, you can also start creating content and handle objections and create lead magnets, okay? So you can ask ChatGPT to give you some common objections people will have when buying the product or service and how to handle that objection. Or what are the best lead magnets to use in, this, in the display format to promote them and advertise them on? Then you can also ask them for some good gathering places to reach out to your group of people. Then you can ask LinkedIn, Twitter, or YouTube content ideas to make sure that your service around this service in the specific niche. And let me give you an example. Like I literally asked ChatGPT, considering all of those problems, the ones that remember the list of problems that I had in there, what would be the best lead magnet I could create to get fitness coaches who have financial resources to give me their contact information? And then I have a, a whole bunch of explanation. Lead magnet title, high ticket fitness coaches guide to market domination, strategies for thriving in a saturated fitness industry. Okay, maybe it's super long, but hopefully you get my point. Like it's actually hitting it right where it is, right? And that's the beauty. And I can know what to do and how to go around promoting everything. And this is what is going to allow me to then Test different variations, but then you can say, for example, uh, okay, give me uh, give me different variations of this one, a little bit shorter, that I can use on a Facebook ad, for example. You see, and that's how you're going to basically cut through the noise and essentially use dark leverage to your advantage. Okay, guys? So as always, guys, I hope that this video was helpful. If it was, let me know your thoughts in the comments, like the video, share this video with someone who is struggling to cut through the noise. And last thing, guys, if you want to work with us, go ahead to the link in the description to see what it would look like. We basically help coaches and agencies get more clients. I know it sounds super basic, but go ahead and check the links in the description to see how it would look like and last thing before we finish the video i always like to recommend some bangers in my youtube videos so go ahead and listen to this song called pull up by jung miku jung miku is a um 
Puerto Rican artist. She's crazy good. So yeah, go ahead and listen not only to this song, which is my favorite from her, top three songs from her, in my opinion, but go ahead and listen to her entire discography. I, I really liked it. So guys, without further ado, see you guys in the next one. Pura vida. Bye.